What's up guys, this is RG giving you another high definition broadcast. As you can see, we are on Unison League and we are going to be doing the patch notes slash one spawn slash also doing the event all in one. Uh, I am a little bit late on this video. I did do a video earlier, but um, it ended up like the file didn't work or something for some reason. So basically that's what happened. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what uh, the patch is giving us here. As you can see, we can buy these Sparta gears from buying 45 or I think it's 45 or 150 gems. I don't know why they don't give it to people who buy 75 gems, but it's 45 or 150 gems. Um, so that's that. So you can get little Sparta type gear. It looks pretty cool, honestly. I really like that type of uh, gear. Uh, the cosmetic shop has added new items uh, as as well for football season uh for the um the playoffs um also for uh the event here is the infernal event so these orbs will be used for apollo gears uh which will drop on the apollo event so these gears aren't actually dropping uh in this event they are dropping on the apollo event uh for a rare spawn i believe and they will be used uh these orbs will be used to reforge those armors and helmets um this monster is really good uh because it paralyzes 70 percent chance to paralyze really really good the only other uh, monster i think that paralyzes is indra which is very good as well but this is a paralyzing monster uh that is fire so it is pretty good uh if you don't have it already you probably should get it just for the uh, fact that it does do a status effect that is quite rare uh, let's see what else we can do here um, Looks like we uh, do have this defensive gear spawn which I will be doing so uh, it is really cool to be able to uh, have this defensive gear spawn I don't particularly like these status effects uh, nomens just because um, You know, it's really only useful against somebody that's using an Indra or a um, a Judgment an Indra or a the Santa Flora, Santa Flora. So, uh, and it's only usually you, those are only usually teams that are like heavily Paladin teams. But you know, it could be useful. It could be not useful. It's really up to uh, your guild's strategy. So um, I'm not counting it out entirely. I just don't think it's very good for somebody that's maybe starting out, or uh, in general, good for uh, pretty much anybody that doesn't have a specific strategy in mind. That being said, I do want to go ahead and get these defensive gears up. Um, I so this is headgear and this is body gear. So that's the difference between these uh, here. Um, I think I'm gonna go for headgear as I do believe I need headgear more than I do armors. So I think we'll do that. Um, in terms of armors, though, I do I do need some for the Valkyrie armors. However, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that. Uh, hmm. So Valkyrie's winged helm. I'm pretty sure that's not the actual Valk's helm. But uh, I don't think I, I don't think the Valk spawn or the like sci-fi type spawns the, with the reflex have it. Um, so let's go ahead and just do a let's go ahead and do a uh, headpiece. I do think that I actually need headpiece more than I do the other one. So let's go ahead and do that. So, cross those fingers, guys. Pray to R and Jesus for me, please. R and Jesus, give us something really great on this one. Uh, I hope we get something good. Uh, it is the SSR boosted rates, so SR SSR defensive boosted rates. Pretty good for anybody who's going paladin. Come on, let's get a good headpiece. Let's get a good headpiece, guys. <sighs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three, yes, yes, SSR, SSR, more than one, more than one. Oh, it's only one, it's okay though. Let's see what we got here, guys, let's see what we got here, guys. Oh, that's strange. Oh yeah, that's right, because yeah, I did the headpiece thing. Alright, what is it, what is it? Oh, it's a crown, it's a duplicate crown. So, not the worst, actually, because duplicate crown, I actually have one of those already, I can infuse it it is an armor piece not the worst 
Also not the best, but it's definitely, definitely not the worst. I could have done a lot worse than this. So, it is a helmet, it is a, uh, you know, a helm type armor, and it can be reforged to UR, it can be infused, which I already have. So it could have been a lot worse, it could have got a cloth helmet, which I have a million of. So, definitely a decent roll for me. I did get like a princess outfit though, which I'm not, um, you know, very, I'm not really into that making my tune a chick thing uh especially this type of armor i mean like I, ha I do have a like a chick on my um on my banner there that looks pretty cool like a ninja chick but i'm not i, I don't really like the frilly type um cosmetics for 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 uh, the characters there but oh well i got the really cool uh helmet that's so that's good uh i'm gonna go ahead and get into this um infernal thing here so um they've been really easy lately and i usually don't even have to go in as a priest to even get this done like there you go it's a priest already at the very beginning so it's been really easy lately i almost didn't want to cast them uh as of late just because it's so easy to get a group on these um higher level runs um you pretty much don't even have to have a group anymore ever since the santa event it's been like all the way downhill from there because it's it's so easy to even do this and uh let's see i'll just tell them i'm gonna call them back all right so yeah uh pretty much right now what i'm doing is just gonna build my uh build my cost up or not cost but my uh, unison up uh and then just use my cost as, as soon as it gets up honestly it's it's um pretty autopilot from here you can just Honestly, you probably could just put it on um, auto for a while if you really wanted to. But at this point, I'm just going to attack the uh, Titan Golem because he's the one who debuffs. This guy does a little bit more damage, the uh, Kitian, or Q Qtian, I don't know how you say that. They have some really weird names for uh, monsters in this game. But um, yeah, kill the Titan Golem and kill the Kitian, whatever. And uh, we will get our unison soon. So usually when you look at your log uh, up and down, you're going to say, um, you know, haste. Somebody usually asks if some, somebody has haste. And, uh, you know, you put the fingers, or the fingers, the thumbs up uh, if you have haste. Or the O is sometimes used as well. So we're waiting for this uh, healer guy to get his unison. And then we're going to pop our haste here because I know Sun has one already. For sure. And we're going to definitely need that haste because we don't uh, have actually... Um, 4 DPS, we have 3 DPS, so we're definitely going to need that haste there to uh, get a good amount, good, good amount of uh, cost. So there it is, the tricolor unison, we have two Valks in there, we have the haste in there, so that is very nice, um, and we have a fire monster. Now how this unison could be improved is... You can get a monster like um, the ability power new fire lance monster, um, I think it's Joan of Arc, right? So that's the one that can actually improve this unison. A Shinitobe in there would have been nice, but since we already had a Wind Valkyrie inside the unison, it would have turned into a, um, what is it? What is the word? Genesis. So I'm looking for the word Genesis, yes. It would have become a Genesis because it would have been too green, too unis uh, unison, too neutral, and one fire. When it would have been better, yeah, if you just put Joan in there. But um, I think, honestly, Joan versus Shinitobe. Um, I think maybe Joan might do more damage. Uh, just the ability power itself. At that stage, you probably want to hold on. Um, cost a little bit longer especially if, as we don't have uh, more than three uh, DPS we only have three DPS so probably should have held on that stage a little bit longer and then right now I'm looking for his berserk so I popped my um, mass refresh right as he used his berserk and then you can as you can see the uh, confusion didn't even stand a chance against that right okay so now we're I'm just gonna go ahead and pop my haste again as the haste will go off. Oh, we have three. Nice. That's perfect. So we have two Valk, three haste. That is really a nice unison. Um, and then after, you know, the haste pops off, you can always get your 
Shinitobe and Joan in between hastes. So um, the Valks last pretty decently long, and then the three haste unison will last pretty long as well. So getting your Shinitobe and Valks in between those uh, hastes and uh, Valks is a really good idea. Berserk again. So put the mash refresh up again. Usually you want to do it a little bit quicker than how I just did it right there. Uh, I don't think that was a pre-cast. It would it would have been better if I did it maybe one second uh, before. And then the Berserk goes off again, unfortunately, right before the next round. But it's okay because we have two healers, so it's it's just gonna be uh, fine without without um, me just you know worrying about the mash refresh being on cooldown. So that's fine. We have two healers. I'm pretty sure this is a solid run. It's not gonna go too too crazy. Um, you know, I don't think we're gonna die on this one. I, at least I hope not. Um, so yeah, there it is again. Uh, as you can see, we all have unison. I'm gonna pop my haste again, as we don't have too too much cost, and we're running low on cost because of our DPS situation. So you wanna be constantly aware of how much cost you're having, how much cost you're using, uh, how your healer's cost is looking, uh, cooldowns of your healers, things like that all come into play of uh, if you're going to survive through uh, the, the battle or not. Alright, so pretty much just coasting along here, making sure um, we kill off these guys. The Ninetale Fox does do a, um, a buff here, but I actually don't suggest using your balance for that. Um, he does... We already have two healers, honestly, and we, I don't think that they're going to kill us. Stronger together, there it is. So, that's the buff, but honestly, it's not going to do too too much damage. Firestone, yeah, it did decent amount of damage. We do have two healers, so it's not too big of a deal. Inferno Stone, that's the one that does higher damage. And then she died, so... Honestly, it's a lot of cost, and it's a huge cooldown to use your balance. So, it's 60 seconds, 20 cost, and then if the boss does a buff and um, your friends don't do Avsaris at that moment, it's going to be really bad for you guys. Um, fortunately, the boss doesn't do like an omen, which takes down your, um, what is it, your buff, or your status resistance, or resistance for status effects. Chance to resist status effects is what I meant. So, uh, luckily, the boss doesn't have any of that, uh, or else everybody would be confused when he does his little confused um, skill. But yeah, definitely save the buffs for here. And then now you want to just go all out on damage. Don't use your attack as a warrior usually ever, unless your uh, attack is higher than like 45k, which is pretty high. Uh, but attack, your regular basic attack does not go off your defense, so that's why I'm not suggesting using it. Stern Flames, here it is. Alright, Forgotten Flames, that's the one that does the status effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and, nope, I don't even need to unison right now. Crimson Death. Alright, that's what, this is where I'll also use my, um, I'm just gonna use it because we don't really need it too, too much. But look at the debuffs on our, our uh, teammates. We have a huge amount of debuffs on the teammates and even using three Valks here is actually good because it takes out the, the four and then goes back up to eight. So... It's not terrible that we use all four val uh, three Valks. A lot of people would say, hey, that's too much Valks, but honestly, it's, it's going to be just fine. So we're going to do enough damage to him, to him here uh, that it's going to be okay. Inferno. Yeah, no problem. So we pretty much did, uh, took him out. He did, we didn't even have to use my balance on him, but he does do a buff. Honestly, he, he does a buff like maybe even twice per uh, engage. So sometimes you actually do have to use your balance twice per... Um, one of these mashes. That's why I take balance and mash refresh. But uh, as you can see, I didn't get anything great from the uh, drops rates, and my drop rates have been kind of not great for me lately. So not a surprise there. Uh, this team was pretty strong. Usually you get around level 95 to 100. You don't usually see anybody over 100 in your matches, especially three three people. So I get pretty lucky with this, and then I got two healers. Uh, but you really only need one healer for this match. So yeah, it's pretty easy guys. Um, honestly, and uh, yeah, I don't think you need much more than that. 
I think that's about it for this video, guys. Definitely tell me what you guys got on the defensive spawn. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe as always. It would be much appreciated. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Take it easy. Peace.